Hello everyone out there, Max here. Haven't seen me in a while. Sorry about that. My computer pretty much has a terminal disease. Because, you know, it's kind of like in a coma with, you know, tubes and stuff hooked up to it. You know, you kind of have to slap it real hard to wake it up and, and you know, see if, see if I can work with it for a while. But sometimes it just freezes and dies, turns off. Uh, sometimes when I turn it on, the monitor doesn't come on, but the computer's on. Um, bullshit like that. Uh, moving on from that, though. I'm going to be trying something I've never done before. Uh, I've done, on my other channel, I've done reviews of movies and toys and crap like that. But I've never gone in-depth, you know, and shown video. Gone in and actually watched the movie and uh, reviewed it with you, pretty much. Um, and so today, I'm going to be trying that uh, for the first time. Now, you gotta be thinking, hmm, what, what would he be wanting to watch? Of course, it's going to be a monster movie. That's that's it. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be some sort of kaiju movie. And yeah, you're right. It is a kaiju movie. But you gotta be thinking, which one? There's so many good ones. There, you know, any of the Godzilla movies, Gamera movies, anything. Yo, know, Rodan. What what is he gonna watch? You know, I've chosen a Gamera movie. Because, uh, you know, anybody who watches anything on my channel knows that, you know, I'm a little biased towards Gamera. Eh. You know, of course, I mean, I'm not dissing on Godzilla. You know, Godzilla is just going you know, But, uh, you know, going to watch the Gamera movie. Which one? It's got to be one of the good ones. You know, it's, I, 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 it's got to be one of the good ones, you know. You can watch, I can watch the original, which was good in its own way. Uh, I could watch Gamera the Brave, which sadly was not included in the Legacy Collection. Or, I could watch any of the three great movies from the 90s. I could choose anything. I could choose anything. Oh, no, no. No, 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 sir. We are watching this. That's right. But for all you uh, Zegra fanboys out there, we're not watching that. We're watching Gamera vs. Star Wars. No, but seriously. Gamera the Super Monster. Or Super Monster Gamera, or... Gamera and the super hot superhero chick... things. This little one does really bad. You know, it's kind of like how Zegra was the Godzilla vs. Hedra of the uh, uh, Gamera movies. Gamera the Super Monster It's pretty much the Godzilla's revenge of uh, Gamera movies. It's bad! So, without further ado, let's slam this thing in. Yeah. Oh boy, I can't wait to watch this one. It didn't go in. It doesn't fit. So, as per what I said, we're going to be selecting Gamera the Super Monster. Oh man. Wait, what's this what's this bonus? Oh man. Really? <laughs> this is a gamma movie, ladies and gentlemen. This is a gamma movie. Alright, first I wanna make sure it's not English. Subtitles off. I'm not going to be watching this whole damn thing. Well, I am, but you aren't. Alright, I, I 
right, I will admit, this song, it may be childish, but it's pretty catchy. What? Say what? You guys saw me switch it to English. Okay. Okay. Alright, so I switched it over to English. And it's it's really diluted. It's got some cool imagery in the beginning, but it's it's obviously especially this. Look at this. If this Oh my god, if this is not Wow. It's almost embarrassing to watch by myself. The Carol Burnett Squad to the rescue. Ladies and gentlemen, this this is a camera movie. Just fine then. Listen up, angels. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. No one notices that at all. That's that's well. That's fine. That's just that's just normal. You will obey me. I'll see that no harm is done. What? Wait, what? I'll mm, that no harm is done. I'll see that no harm is done. The beautiful American cut, ladies and gentlemen. You must stop them at any cost. We just have to do something. But we don't have any weapons. We don't have any weapons. The boys, too late. You're right. Okay. We're all monster fans here. We've all seen terrible dubs. This is some of the worst shit I've ever seen. Hands down. Yep. I will obey you, Captain. Oh. Wow, that was powerful. The background changed, too. How about a drink? Huh? Yeah, come on. Why'd you like that? Wouldn't you? Yeah, I'll try it, I wonder how much he got paid for that. Oh no. It's that music again. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You can go now. Hello. Hi, what is it? I'm not the policeman from one of your comic books, you know. Hello. I'm not the policeman from one of your comics, you know. That's just a really, really odd way to greet somebody. Well, hi there. I'm not the Green Goblin from Spider-Man 2. Yeah. 
you've all been reading that comic book story of the policeman with a turtle. And you should be reading Volume 2 of The Savage Sword of Conan, based on Robert E. Howard's classic series. Basically what I'm trying to say is it looked like a little bit of product placement there, even though I don't even know if that was a real comic or not, but, you know, just the way he presented it was kind of, you know, like that. Oh, stop pestering me. I'll arrest you! Oh, jeez! Oh. <laughs> that really scared you, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Well then, of course, they send some disasters and shit at us. And it's immediately after this that the stock footage gets thrown at us. Lots and lots of stock footage. Just like this is stock footage of Gamera versus Gauss. So apparently, aside from random audio cutouts, the Gamera theme is actually canon in the actual Gamera series. Holy I wish you'd spend more time with your studies and not singing songs. Hmm, I'm singing to my friend the turtle. Really, it's the Gamera Mark. But I wrote for him. Liar! <laughs> Plagiarizer! I do love him so very much. They should sue loving. him. No one could... I wrote that. They found their weapons useless in their attempts to hold back the supersonic monster, Gauss. Well, again, this is more obvious footage from Gamera vs. Gauss. I have a feeling that the latter half of this review is going to go by pretty quick. Because uh, I'm probably going to be fast forwarding through a lot of the stock footage. I'm gonna be sexy. I know. Huh? 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 I wouldn't totally just freak the fuck out after seeing that. Nah, I should rest more. That's fine. One thing, if she could do that, then why the hell did she get into traffic anyway? Wherever she started from, why didn't she just dan and 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 boop? Fuck traffic, I'm gonna drive. Why did she just not just do that to begin with? Ah, you play the organ too? Sometimes. Do you mind? I'll play the game on my channel. I'm not organ. Really? Yeah. How does it go? They're doing this you again.
to the Macy's Parade, the Gamma Balloon is over 200 feet long. So then we get Gamma fighting Gauss and more stock footage. Oh. Gamera? Gamera, what are you doing? Gamera, this is a kid's movie, Gamera. Gamera! So, after kidnapping the little kid, just that quick, we're on to Zegra footage. And of course, Gamera is here to save the day! Damn that turtle. Huh? What the? Did this seriously change the music audio to make it sound like it's underwater now? So, the little kid escapes from the evil space woman. And now, just that quick, we cut to Gamera vs. Varus footage. Ooh. You know, Gamera has had several injuries in the past. I always thought that this one in this movie, despite how cheesy the movie is, that right there, in my opinion, is the worst injury he's ever had. I mean, just think of how big that wound is. I mean, that's right in the center of his chest. that and he recovers nicely well, it seems Gamera finally made it to space whoa wait wait whoa 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 is that animated is that an is that is that fucking animated it is Gamera fighting a fucking animated battleship in space! Gamera fighting a fucking animated battleship in space! Or just gonna s stay there and just watch it turn around and drive away. Now I'm gonna get it. The fuck is animated battleship in space? Yeah, me too. I was actually real interested to see where they would have gone with that. You know, it's at this point that I realize there's still a half hour of this movie left. Uh-oh. Jiger footage. Or Monster X footage. Whatever. Still more stock footage. In place on his neck. Start commanding him now. Gamera, go and destroy the earth. Go and destroy the earth. You know something I've noticed about giant monsters? Especially Godzilla and Gamera, you know, the main monsters. They're really, really susceptible to mind control. Like, really susceptible. I mean, it's happened to Godzilla more than once. It's happened in the Gamera here. Uh, it's, it's happened to King Kong in King Kong Escapes. Uh, of course, Titanosaurus is kind of a mind control. Haven't you noticed that? And now, of course, we cut to Gamera versus Baragon. Our War 
the monsters, either one you want. Whoa, whoa. Did Godzilla just show up in my camera movie? Did Godzilla just show up in my camera movie? I guess he did. Man, I wonder if they got sued for that. Maybe that's why they went out of business. You know, I kind of like the fact that they put the original footage, you know, from the original black and white camera movie, on a TV set. You know, because that way, you know, you don't have to, it's not inexplicable as to why it's in black and white. You know, if it's on TV, some things back then still were in black and white. Not very many things, but some things were. Really? I find it really kind of... I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, it's kind of really odd and a little bit disturbing that that they use the music organ for like everything. I know why. He's got a control Not really sure what to think about this. Go ahead, shoot. Don't force me. I don't like hurting or killing people. Take back your gun. Really? She was trying to kill you. And now you gonna walk away and give her back her gun. So, no, I don't think I don't think it'd be fine. Are you okay? Surprise, now we're at Guron footage. I just had to include this scene. Okay, now try to imagine what that would have really been like. Like with Godzilla 2014 graphics, you know, and serious overtones and dark, gritty atmosphere, but yet still spinning around on that giant pencil. Be fucking epic, bro. Fucking epic. Oh, now we're back to space again. Just that fast. Oh no, oh, nice, nice fight in an animated train. The 999, here it comes. Seriously, what? Why? What the fuck? You know, I, I understand this is probably another dream, but. I'm actually really interested to see what would have actually happened in this situation. You know, first it's the animated battleship in space, now the animated train, and she's dreaming it? Unexpected. More Berugan footage. Only this time he's fighting Berugan. So the evil guys killed the evil lady and now Gamera's going to fight Star Wars.
What? What happened? What happened? Oh! So that was Super Monster Gamera, or Gamera the Super Monster, or I've heard it said like five different ways. Who the fuck cares? But anyway, with all the cinematic glory and the way it was pieced together, the music, all the music and the visuals, the way that it was all, it was shit. It was shit. It was a pay, it was, it was, it was a turd. It went in the toilet, it was bad. And the super ladies from outer space, absolutely worthless, did absolutely nothing, except when the bad guys put the thing on Gamera's head, you know, the mind control thing, they, the one lady just Hulk smashed it and it was gone, but it, it, that's it. That was, that was the only thing that they actually accomplished in the movie. Uh, they, they saved... I mean, the evil space girl, even even after she turned good, uh, she said, you know, she was going to kill herself because they were going to kill her anyway, and, and, you know, they they stopped her from killing herself, but guess what? They killed her anyway, just like she said they were going to. But it, it was, it, it, and then, you know, Gamera died, of course, in that explosion thing that actually was a pretty decent effect for back then, but now they might have stole it from something, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. And the animated stuff was weird in the dreams, but, uh... To be honest, those two segments with Gamera, with the uh, with with the animated battleship that's flying in space and the animated train, those were the two things in the movie that I was actually most interested in. I wanted I, you know, when I first saw it, I was like, "Is this movie really this bad that it's gonna anim have animated something and, and it's gonna be part of the plot?" But no, it wasn't. But I almost wanted it to be. I almost wanted it to be because. I wanted to see where they would have gone with it. I mean, it, 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 it could have been as messed up and stupid as you want, but I just, it was interesting, far more interesting than... It was, it, yeah, it's a shit movie! It's a shit movie! And I made myself watch it for you! For you! For you!